Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to answer the number one question asked on this channel. And you'd be surprised to know that it actually has nothing to do with technical information. It's mostly uh, relating to actually what I do with my lock screens and my home screens and specifically Dragon Ball. How do I get these wallpapers? How do I customize them? Where do I get them and can I share them with you? Where I can't share things that I don't own, I definitely can share with you guys the applications that I like to use to be able to get some of these really cool wallpapers, of course, as well as some threads that will be very helpful for you guys. This is TK and this is how I customize my devices, specifically Samsung and any other device that I get uh, with Dragon Ball wallpapers as well as live wallpapers for the lock screen. That one that you guys see in most of my videos, I'll share with you guys exactly how we do it. This is TK, let's check them out. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified to whenever we have new videos on the channel. What I have in front of us is uh, basically the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra and the Samsung Galaxy S20. Uh, now both of them are customized with different wallpapers, different lock screens, you'll notice right there with the Goku one. Uh, unlocking it just basically brings in the animation and I really like that, so that's one way of doing it. Uh, it's a great wallpaper that I feel like works great as the lock screen wallpaper as well as the home screen. But you can also do it the other way around where you can have a different customized lock screen or basically wallpaper for your lock, uh, for your home screen that basically minimizes the interaction with the camera so it doesn't show up as much as the way we see it here. And of course for the lock screen you can instead actually on Samsung devices you can actually install a, basically a video for a video lock screen. So it's not a live wallpaper that's actually a video and I'll share with you guys exactly how I did that for the video. But first and foremost, we're going to start off but with the first application that I like to use. Now this application is called Ultrapix. Ultrapix is made specifically for Samsung Galaxy devices that have the punch hole camera sitting at the top. So it'll work great with the S20 as well as work great with the S20 Ultra or even the S20 Plus. Uh, and they, ha they have an actually version of this called just Wallpix uh, that was made last year for the Galaxy S10 line of devices. So not just specific to S20, but a Galaxy line of devices. What I like about it is that it actually uses the placement of the wallpaper in a position where it kind of utilizes the wallpaper to make the camera actually fit into the background and it doesn't stand out as much. So it really looks great here with Goku with the spirit bomb. Um, we can also even see here Vegeta is flying over there and doing his Gallic gun. I'll give it, you have to actually tap it for it to align correctly and you'll notice he's actually grabbing the camera as he's about to start doing that blast. Uh, they have other wallpapers that you can actually even use. Let's go ahead and go back. And those are going to be basically, you know, Captain Marvel, Spider-Man, Phineas and Ferb, uh, different ones like, you know, Game of Thrones, all different ones, even Thor. That one actually looks really cool. So let's go ahead and turn that on, give it a second to load. And Thor is basically using the hammer and, of course, calling the thunder using the actual camera, punch hole camera. So very nice, very easy to set up. And, of course, we have Boo here. He does the exact same thing. He's floating in the air and using it. So definitely a lot of good customizations made specifically for our Galaxy S line of devices. Now, they also have live wallpapers that look really good on your lock screen and or even actually using them on your device, not just the lock screen. And you probably saw this one in my last video that I did where Spidey's basically dangling specifically from the camera and it works great because it does the same effect as this one where when I unlock my device, nothing changes. Spidey's still moving up and down at the same rate as the lock screen and it looks really, really good. So this is actually called Ultrapix, the application itself. I'll give you guys a link to that in the description below. Uh, but I'm going to actually shift over to an application that will work with almost any device because that one focuses mostly on wallpapers themselves, but not video or even live wallpapers. And the application we're going to talk about today is called Zedge, Z-E-D-G-E. -E. Now, this one is a heavily advertised supported app. So you'll notice right away it starts opening up the notification. Uh, it does actually have a premium service that you can sign up for and you can go in there and look into. But if you want to just use it as a free service, you're able to basically go in and look at different lock screens. And you notice it even has the wallpaper for the Ultra Instinct. Now, this is not a live one, but it also does have a lot of really good ones. If you like a design, you just heart it and then it basically adds it to your favorites. And of course, you can actually come back later on and look at it. They have different options here to work really nicely with your screen. So what I'll do here, if I just look for Dragon Ball Z, as you can see, I probably have already done this before. Uh, there's different options. You can download wallpapers, ringtones, as well as notification sounds, which are really, really, really cool. And I'll get a chance to show you. And again, very much heavily ad supported if you don't subscribe to the service. So you are able to get rid of the ads, but you have to pay basically a monthly fee. Otherwise, it works great. There is some premium content that we don't have access to. But what I really like about it is like wallpapers like this. So I'll give it a second to load. Uh, this is such a great wallpaper that looks really good, very colorful, and it actually hides the camera punch hole. And here, as you see, I downloaded this one and it really looks nicely. So let's go ahead and open it up again. I can just basically hit the little option. I can customize it by either cropping it, close it one more time, 
I can crop it here if I find that it actually doesn't sit correctly in the actual frame. I mean, it does, but if it doesn't, you can do that. You can change it to landscape, rotate, and of course, you can basically just either add stickers to it or you can just say done, and you'll have the option of downloading and setting it or just downloading only. So you can download, set it. I'm gonna set it directly as my home screen because I like the lock screen that I have, and I'll go ahead and go home. And you notice it sets it correctly, it fits exactly to my theme, and we get to see basically uh, what actually looks like it's uh, basically Gogeta because you'll notice the uh, basically the earring sitting there and he's going from either Super Saiyan God Blue to Super Saiyan God Red. Different colors, very nice and it looks really good on our devices, especially with the way they look like right there. You can actually do the exact same thing and download different options. They have some really uh, nice wallpapers right there. There's this one with the, uh, this one looks like that is Gogeta Super Saiyan God Blue and the one that I had before. All I have to do is say download. And with this one, actually, I do want to step back and I do want to basically size it. As you notice right there, the right hand is ever so slightly coming in more than the left, uh, or at least th this one's is left to the right. So what I do here is I just align it correctly, just make sure that it's centered correctly, hit done, done, set, and hit the home screen, and voila, it works great. You're able to set it here, customize it. And as I mentioned to you guys before, we're able to actually even, go ahead and close this, set the sound and notifications that we have on our device. So we'll go ahead and go here, we'll go into sound, and you notice right there, I have the Dragon Ball Z teleport sound set as my notification. So very, very cool, very nice and easy to use. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are wondering, how do I get this lock screen video that runs on my lock screen? So this is specific to Samsung devices and that's why I kind of left it to the end of the video. So if you're running a Samsung device, an S10, an S9, an S uh, uh, Note 10, a Note 9, all any, most of them that are running One UI or even the latest version of TouchWiz, Samsung has been allowing us to use video on the lock screen for some time. The main thing that you need to know is that you do need to open it up with the standard video, well, I would say the gallery app, not the photos app. Once you open it, and I'll give you guys a link to the video to download in the description below, you'll be able to see this video. And then at this point, all you have to do is hit three buttons on the top and say set as wallpaper. Once you do that, the wallpaper itself sets only on the lock screen and it runs basically in a loop and you can unlock the device and use it. Uh, it's a video, not a live wallpaper. So that's why it only applies it to the lock screen. Conversely, if you like to have your own customized video, let's say you have a video that was taken in the right format of, let's say, a family member or somebody that you always want to see when you unlock, like let's say a personal or a loved one, uh, you can actually do the exact same thing with any other video as long as you understand that it loops after about uh, three to four or five seconds or so. So what you get essentially is just the best experience this way. Both of these applications are ad supported. So just keep in mind, you are going to see some ads, but the really cool thing about it is that it actually doesn't give out any ads outside of the apps. So once you set that wallpaper, for the most part, you're not having to look at those ads anymore. Uh, but just be aware, specifically with Zed, it seems like not only is there ads, but there's also advertising for their services. So it's very much in your face unless you subscribe. Uh, but I find the uh, actual selection of pictures that they have there is definitely very nice and a very, very uh, large selection of basically ringtones, notifications, as well as wallpapers. So. Uh, let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite and of course as i said uh, this works with dragon ball for me this is how i get some of my images but it also works with any other theme that you're trying to customize your device with and if you want to be able to basically customize your samsung device to the next level use a theme park as part of good luck to be able to use these wallpapers and then spread a theme concept for that i'll give you guys the card right up here for the video that i did on how to use theme park as basically part of good luck on Samsung devices to customize your entire device from the lock screen uh, to basically even to the icons, the notification color, even the theme on your device to follow the, uh, the wallpapers that you're using. Thank you very much for the support. Like and subscribe as usual. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.